What is up YouTube? That's here bringing you guys more in it to win shit battle spot action. We're still using this team for a little while longer. Uh, I think the meta is actually starting to change on me because it is just I'm fighting so many Clefairies. Why is that a thing? I think Clefairy is amazing. People should have caught on to that a long time ago. People have not utilized redirection in this format properly. Like Butterfree's great proof of that. And it's just a lot harder to break these walls down when they have like a fairy friend guard supporting them. So we're just going to hop into some games. Maybe it's because the ladder reset and I'm still at the low end of the ladder. I, I always feel it's hardest breaking into the 1600s. And uh, I just haven't played a ton of games. So I'm like sitting pretty much nowhere. So hopefully we find some pretty cool games to play. No Kaferis, no Smeargles. Gigalith's a bit of a problem too. I mean, Gigalith is more of a problem than it should be sometimes. Um, that is what it is. Giovanni from Italy. What an Italian name. So we see... Oh. Not that. So, uh, Sun with, uh, potential for Trick Room with Sk Silvoli. I, I like the team. It looks cool. Um, I just gotta be able to deal with the Oren Guru. So I think I'm gonna lead Faramosa. is good against Snorlax. It's good against, uh, a lot of things. If I go, if I go, uh, the, the real question here is, before I even say anything, do you guys think Lunge from a Life Orb Faramosa one-shots Oren Guru? I'm going to do it. Uh, we're going to go Raichu and Faramosa. And then, do I actually want to bring Pelipper? It's not bad. It's not a bad Pokemon. I'll bring Pelipper. Do you want to bring Golduck? Eh, maybe. Just, just Pelipper is probably enough, to be completely honest. Like, Pelipper with Coco is probably enough to get what I want done, done. Like, I don't think bringing Pelipper and Golduck to this game is a great idea. Mostly just because uh, I don't want to be pigeonholed, pigeonheld into having two water types and trying to deal with a Tapu Fini. That sometimes can be kind of annoying and ends up being a bit of a... I'm not going to say a race, but it sometimes ends up being a situation where if I'm ahead, I can potentially still be ahead at the end, but it's like a slow loss to lose my life. So anyways, we're going to go up against Giovanni and his weird sun trick room. And we have to assume that the uh, the Oren Guru is in her focus. So it's, I didn't lead Raichu to fake out that guy. I led Raichu to fake out the teammate and try to nuke the potential Oren Guru. So we'll see what we see. I guess I could have potentially... Yeah, I led it to stop the Silvoli. That's what it was. I was like, I gotta stop Silvoli. I think that thing's most likely Choice Scarfed. So the real question we're going to have to ask ourselves here is... If he was Protect first turn and tries to attack with Silvoli, is the Oren Guru Mental Herb? Because I could just Encore it if it's not. Hmm. Actually, I think I lose. I think he's going to probably Protect Bait me. Maybe I should try and get the Silvoli off the board. And just ignore it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go for a lunge on it and see if I can one-shot it. Don't you Protect. Don't Protect. Who told you that was the play? That's such good play, though. <laughs> oh, man. It's so obvious what I'm doing. But hopefully it just works. It's not even like a hopefully. It's just a, like, this should work. And the hardest read would be to fake out the Silvoli and high jump kick it. That would be the hardest read that I'm not going to just do that every day. So the real question now is, does Lunge one-shot Oren Guru? That's the real question here. Do you get one-shotted? Oh, of course you don't. I get an attack drop. Well, I lose. Game, GG, Trick Room. Alright, so the only good thing about this is that Silvoli flinched before Faramosa. So we can go for an, a Psychic onto the Oren Guru, protect with Faramosa, and then next turn attack the Silvoli with Faramosa. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to Psychic me with the, with the Oren Guru. This is pretty bad. And he got the Trick Room up. I thought that would one shot. I guess I'm the weird one. You know what I gotta do? I gotta put a choice band on my Faramosa. If I did that, that'd be so sick. I'd have a choice bex, a choice scarf, and a choice band on a team. That'd be too Mimi even for me, I think. But we'll see. We'll see what he goes for. Ooh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. He's trying to explosion. Oh well. He's totally an explosion. Maybe not this turn. But uh, it's telepathy with explosion. That has to be what it is. Now nah, we'll see. So we're going to try and wait this Trick Room out. Psychic is going to do 30% to Mudsdale unless it's vested. Eh, 35%. And Party Shot. He goes onto the Righteous slot, which is the correct slot. Not bad. 
And he's probably going to be coming back in with the, uh, the Oranguru. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, that's probably like Earthquake on the, uh, on the Mudsdale, right? Maybe he's going to come in with Torkoal. If he comes with Torkoal, I'll just switch out. That's Oranguru. Cool. Uh, I think I can actually, like, do stuff. It's kind of weird to say it, but, like, I think I can do stuff. I'm going to switch out for Pelipper. Actually, Raichu can just die. No, no, I'm going to switch out the Raichu for Pelipper and let Mosa die. Who do I want to hit? I'm going to hit that Mudsdale right in the face. Right in the face with a high jump kick. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I'm kind of just trying to, like, waste time, you know? I think he's probably going to go Earthquake and go, uh, like, telep not Telepathy, but, like, Earthquake and then Instruct. So it makes it look like it's not... Yeah, there's the EQ. So he I could have just fake out at him first turn. So this is the type of thing, like, best of three, this would never hold up. Does my Faramosa live through two Earthquakes? No, I don't. Holy shit. And then he's probably going to Instruct me. But if he doesn't Instruct me, and he's Orbed, does that mean he takes double Orb damage? Yes, please, sign me up. Double Earthquake. Alright, cool. We're going to send a Raichu. Raichu's going to be able to fake out the Oranguru. And, uh, br I'm going to be able to brine the the Mudsdale. I bet it has Rock Slide, though. I don't think Rock Slide plus Orb one-shots Pelipper. I don't think that's a thing. And it's stronger than Garchomp Rock Slide, but I don't think that one-shots Pelipper, either. Alright, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. I thought of an even better idea. If I fake out the Mudsdale, does he have Lele? No Lele. He has Silvoli in the back, and something else. And it's Scarfed. Hmm. How many turns we got to a fun trick from two or three? Two? I think I'm actually just going to fake out the Mudsdale and kill it. I'm going to leave the Oranguru at one because I really think he's thinking I'm going to go after that guy, but I'm not. I'm going to nuke the Mudsdale. He can Psychic me. Oh, man. I think this is a better play. And then if I get this guy off the board, um, I don't have to worry next turn as much. And he's still picking his team, or his move. He's withdrawing on Guru. This is the right play. Uh, he could also protect here. He could protect. That'd be kind of lame. Don't you protect. Don't you protect in your own trick room, my, my, my guy. Don't protect in your own trick room. Oh, he's so good. Why is this guy so good? All right, so that's probably game. He's probably going to switch out the Torkoal for uh, other stuff. I got to do this, and I don't... This is the last turn of trick room, right? That's game. It's so game. This is the last turn of trick room. Man, this is such a lame game for me. All right, we're just going to protect with Pelipper because we have to. And then, uh, I wish I could protect with my Raichu, but I can't. Yeah, I have to do it like this. Oh, well. Switch on Mudsdale. Okay, I guess we got shots, but, like, not really. He's probably going to er eruption this turn. He might protect, though. Just for some weird reason. Maybe it, maybe he's solar beaming me a wall. He's just going to go for the eruption. So he's going to be able to KO my Raichu. Alright. Twitch Dimensions finally returned back to normal. Alright, we got shots. Do I want to start spamming Thunder in the sun? Yo, that'd be lit. Alright, I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Um, the thing is, his Silver is faster. So, like, I just kind of lose either way. Actually, I haven't flung anything yet. I haven't lost just yet. It's kind of like I'm going to lose, but not yet. I have, like, half lost. He's probably just going to explode on me, though. Protect Torque will explode. I don't see a reason why he wouldn't at this point in the game. Go for that boom room. Mostly just the boom. Alright. What do we see? Giovanni showed me. Yeah, Torque Protect. Fucking boom. 
Oh well. Can't win them all. Oh, he's just gonna return. What an idiot. You just had to explosion. That doesn't even kill. Fuck. This might kill. Goodbye. Alright. I got shot. I'm probably gonna win. Now that I look, like, think about it. Depends on how much damage I do to Pelipper, you know? Or how much damage Pelipper can do to something. He sends an Orangui here, I think I got it. Maybe. I don't know why he would do that, though. Mudsdale, alright, alright. Can I KO Mudsdale with Brine? It's at half, but it's in the sun. I gotta try. I don't even think I can KO the Torkoal, but I might be able to KO the Torkoal. Thunderbolt, specs in the terrain versus Torkoal. Show me the rule. Only two turns left on Sun. Kind of want to protect here. Like with my Pelipper, I mean. But I don't want to leave Coco defenseless. Have to double attack, I think. I will see. Mudsdale might get KO'd by this. It's it's hard to say. He's orbed, too. Really weird game here. He's switching out. He's going for the Earthquake, I think. So Oranguru's going to come in. T-Bolt's going to land on the Oranguru. I was thinking about protecting with Pelper. Let's see if this was the right play. Or if just the Brine is enough. Okay, we did it. I cannot believe we came back. I can't. I actually can't believe it. it makes no sense that we came back. Uh, and if that's the three, this game would be over. Because I would just flinch him into oblivion. Because we know it's telepathy. Like, that's the biggest mix-up. Like, Oranguru is one of the most hated Pokemon, I think, in VGC. Because, or for me. Because I'm... It's such a mix-up Pokemon. It's like, well, is it holding a Mental Herb? Or is it holding a Sash? Or is it holding a Citrus Berry? Or is it Telepathy? Or is it Inner Focus? You know, either you can fake out it or you can't fake out it. Like, one of my favorite things is seeing Oranguru Lele be like a team preview. And like, oh, it's Telepathy. Because the Lele's there to protect from fake out. And then it's Inner Focus with Lele support. It's like... The best of one gimmicks are too strong. But anyways, we take those. Ah, oh, man. I just... Teams like that. I, I'm so happy I met it in turn into everyone using Oranguru. Like, Oranguru instructing speed tie garbage type stuff. Oranguru is a cool Pokemon. I just... I'm really happy it's not, like, super standard. That's the best way to put it. Using, seeing one Oranguru every once in a while is fine, especially in best of three, because you can like analyze it and be like, alright, well, this is what it's going to do, and just wreck it. But let's see what this guy's team looks like. We are going to be seeing Cafable, fuck, like, man, and a Sudowoodo. Alright, I mean, I think he gets rolled by Duck. Uh, actually, he has a freaking Trevenant. Um, I'm going to have to fling that, but then... How the heck do I stop Trevenant with my team? I don't. I can fling it. I think I'm going to have to Hydro Vortex fling and then Ice Beam Brine it. And that's not good. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to duck. I think I might... St I'm still going to lead Pelipper. Pelipper is going to be in the lead. Pelipper... Is Pelipper Raichu my lead? Ouch. That sounds terrible. Pelipper Raichu Weiwei, so I can switch in and Psychic this, uh, the stupid Pokemon, stupid Selazzle. Maybe it's Sash Selazzle? So I got 30 seconds. This team is actually a lot harder to fight than you'd think. It's the Trevenant that's going to be the problem. I'll just make the last Pokemon Golduck. I think I can beat this. Sturdy on Sudowoodo is going to be a bit of a problem. But it's not one I can't deal with. Uh, so we have potential for fling and fake out, or just double fling. We have there. I don't think he gets Trick Room up first turn, unless some weird type of misplay happens on my part. Even if he goes Salazzle Trevenant, I think I can still stop the Trick Room. Hopefully, definitely, maybe. Let's see what this guy's team is. I mean, he also could just be bad. I mean, it looks like it's a team that's kind of bad, but we'll see. Like, it looks like an in-game team. He has a pre-marina, you know. Cofable Trevenant. All right. Well, I said that he couldn't get the Trick Room up first turn, and I, I wasn't kidding. I can go Fake Out and Fling to stop it, but that doesn't get me anything, you know. 
I think I might just let him get the Trick Room up and go into a turn two that's super good. Hmm. I don't like this. Oh, wait, he's just gonna, like, follow me. I know it. Just withdraw Pelipper for Golduck, for now. And Raichu... I'm just gonna make it Encore the Cafable. I think that's actually the play. I'm gonna let him get Trick Room up. And then we're gonna wait it out, and then push, like, a really hard, like, last turn of the Trick Room. Those follow me. So, the thing is, he's gonna get a Trick Room up, right? And we're gonna be able... To make it so it's just Trevenant versus the Trick Room, if that makes any sense. Like, Trevenant's the only Pokemon getting an advantage off of this Trick Room. There's the Trick Room. Cool. So we're going to protect with Golduck. Next turn we're going to switch Golduck out. And then we're going to protect with that new thing that comes in. And then, then the Trick Room will be gone. That's the plan. Psychic the Cabable. Probably going to see lefties on it. I mean, he got the Trick Room up, but I just don't feel like he has a ton of, like, clear advantage to do anything with it. If he switches the Clefable out, instead of thinking he's safe, that's when we have a problem. The only reason we're okay with this right now is because there's not that much he can do offensively in this Trick Room. Like, at all. He can... It'd be really lame to see if I got, like, Shadow Clawed on my Raichu slot. That'd be super annoying, but I don't think he is. I think he's gonna Horn Leech my Golduck. Because Golduck would still do a... Golduck can still one-shot his Clefable. You know, so. I will see. Golduck protects. Looks like he's staying in. Psychic special D-drop onto that uh, would be really good. Onto the Cafable. That'd be real good. He goes for a Leech Seed. Alright, so yeah, if it's Seed and not like Horn Leech and all that other garbage, we're fine. I'm going to do almost a third. Cool. And we do see Leftovers. Alright, cool, cool. We're just going to switch in Lele. And then we'll be fine. Maybe not fine, but like, we're playing the Pokemon game. Isn't that fun? I think if I get a chance to hit the Trevenant, I'll be okay. Trevenant, though, Trevenant's a pretty unique Trick Room setter that I think the meta hasn't yet fully caught up to. I think Trevenant's a really cool Pokemon. More people should be using it, I think. But, um... He has to switch out that Clefable eventually. If he switches Clefable into Steela this turn, fuck, I'm like, so dead. He like, double sub seed me. If he had sub, I think he would have used it last turn. Now we'll see, Golduck's obviously going to be switching this turn. That's going to happen. Alright, Psychic Surge is going to make my Psychic this turn do a lot more damage. Goes for the follow me, staying in, and let's see if he's actually attacking me with like a horn leech or something. Phantom Force, so he's gonna be disappearing. Alright, he's most likely gonna be hitting my Raichu slot. So I'm just gonna switch Raichu up with Pelipper probably. And have Lele hit the Fable. Wonder if Dazzling Gleam can take it out from here. I'm gonna turn to go on Trick Room. Two, okay. I'm gonna switch out Raichu for a... Uh, I'm gonna switch in my... Actually, let's see how many turns we got left. Two turns left on Rain. I'm gonna switch Golduck in. Golduck can take a Phantom Force, right? Hopefully he's not hitting my Lele, but it is what it is. We'll see. Hopefully Dazzling Gleam can take out the, the Fable. If it doesn't, that's actually really, really bad. You should have switched that thing out so long ago. Who you hitting, buddy? Yeah, you hitting the Raichu slot. That's right. Cool. And Dazzling Gleam just has to take out this Fable. Alright, cool. I think we're handling this Trick Room pretty well. Like, not gonna lie, it's it's going. It's totally going here. And we're just going to protect with uh, Golduck and probably switch out Lele for Raichu. So when the Trick Room expires, they're going to be able to fling the Trevenant to keep him back honest. Primarina comes in, yeah. Alright. 
I mean, I could... No, I think the correct play is to do what I wanted, yeah. Last turn of Trick Room, last turn of Rain. Alright. Yeah, we're going to switch Raichu in. And we're just going to protect with Golduck. And we're going to see what happens. If the Trevenant disappears this turn, he's going to reappear last. So if he pops a Phantom Force right here, that'd be actually a really good turn to pop a Phantom Force. Because he'd be reappearing at the end of next turn. So he'd be able to dodge both of my attacks, like this turn's and next turn's attacks by doing that. But I would just switch out Golduck for Rain, reapply the Rain, and I think I'd be fine. Now, let's see. He might go for a Leech Seed, though, this turn. He might Leech Seed the Lele slot, which wouldn't be a bad play, either. So Golduck's going to protect. That's pretty obvious, I think. And what are we going to see? Phantom Force, cool. So we have to assume... Actually, who do we think he's targeting? It really matters. He's going for a Hydro Pump on the Raichu slot. Uh, that's lame. Okay, well, he got that. He can have it. I'm going to come in with my, uh, my Lele. Yeah, got to come in with Lele here. Dimensions return back to normal. We see Orb on the Primarina. So we're going to come in with Lele. He targeted down the Raichu slot that turn. So I think he targeted the Phantom Force on Golduck. So what we're going to do is we're just going to Psychic the Primarina. Ooh, I could Thunder it. I could I could Thunder it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to Psychic. But I could Thunder it. And we're just going to switch out Golduck for Pelipper. It's going to reapply our Rain. And remember, Pelipper still has Fling, so I can Fling the Trevenant next turn if I want to. Hopefully the Phantom Force isn't targeting Lele. But even if it is, I think I'm still all right. All I got to do is make sure that this Primarina goes down to... Uh, the Psychic. I mean, it's not raining. It is going to be raining in a sec, so we'll see what he goes for. He could also protect with the Pre-Marina. That is another thing that he could do here. That would be rather annoying, but it's not the end of the world. The only problem is then I would have to fling the Trevenant, KO the Pre-Marina the next turn. If I even can KO it. I mean, it's not a Pokemon that you fight all that often. It's kind of hard to gauge its uh, stats. So Drizzle's going to come in here. He's probably afraid of Hurricane, but I don't even have it. Primarina protects. I mean, it's a good play to protect there. What else am I going to do with Lele, you know? I mean, he was just going to let it die if it didn't. So Psychic's going to come in. Who are you hitting, my man? Who are you hitting? Hitting that Pelipper. Weak. All right, cool. I can look through a second one, too. All right, what does he have in the back? Oh, man. He has potential for Steela, which would roll me. And uh, a bunch of other Pokemon that Golduck can take care of. We're going to Psychic the Primarina. Hopefully I can KO it. And we're going to Fling the Trevenant. I haven't flung with this guy, right? Cool. The, the thing is the Salazzle is a bit of a problem. Salazzle and Sudowoodo are rather big problems. I think the fact that he hasn't, he never switched in the Sudowoodo means, the fact that he never switches Clefable out, and the fact that he didn't switch his Primarina right there, means that it's not Steela, and it's most likely Sudowoodo or Salazzle. If I had to guess. So we're going for a big Psychic. Can we get the no? We're not getting the KO at all. We get a special D-drop, which doesn't matter, but, uh, ugh. Fling's going to come in onto the, uh, another Trevenant. Super effective damage. Uh, that's probably going to be game HP, Hidden Power Electric. Okay. Okay, oh, okay. He crit me. He didn't need it. That's weird. Probably going to be popping a... Actually, he, he flinched. He's not popping a Phantom Force. All right, so we're good. We got Golduck on the board. No more Psychic Terrain, though. This is a really weird game. He should be protecting. I'm going to Psychic and Ice Beam that Trevenant. I really think the Primarina is going to protect. And I'm actually not afraid of the Primarina ice, uh, Hydro Pumping my, uh, any of my Pokemon. Oh, he has the HP Electric. That'd be really lame on my Golduck. I don't think Psychic can take Trevenant out by itself. Have to do this. Have to respect him. I know he has Protect, too. Oh, Primarina Protect's cool. We can Encore that if we want to. And we're going for the double nuke into the, the Trevenant. Even if he might have a Citrus or something. There's probably a Citrus there, yeah. Maybe I should have Hydro Vortexed. 
Can Lele take this guy out from half? Can Lele do as much as an Ice Beam from Golduck? Probably not. Ah, fuck. Should have Hydro Vortex. I'm just an idiot. That's me being an idiot, guys. Found me. Alright, we lose. Uh, what the hell do I even do here? This is the only play I can make. He's just gonna, uh, Phantom Force most likely. So I'm gonna protect here to block the HP electric. Goes for the Phantom Force. And then Lele's gonna kill the Pre Marina. Cool. I mean, it's probably an HP electric. It's probably HP grass. I don't know why I keep saying electric. It's probably grass. And then what is gonna happen now? I think Lele can actually live the Phantom Force. So it really depends on what his last Pokemon is. It is the Sudowoodo. Okay. You don't see that all that often. That is not something you see very often. How many turns I have to trick room? There's like three turns. I mean, this is all I can do. This game's done -zo. Oh shit, he's Z-moving me. Oh my gosh, the flex on me. How often do you see that? It's the Rock Z move from Sudowoodo. I think that's there to break protect for the most part. On my, I think he's hit my Golduck with it, so he guarantees that he hits. Yeah, hey, that's a good play. Golduck should have like probably went for a double protect. Like looking at the way life works, that's how that's what should have happened. Driven uses Phantom Force. I don't think this KOs, but yeah, we still lose. Yep, Lele's bulky, super bulky. And we still lose. Man, what a weird team to fight against. I did everything I could, but, uh, you know. Just a weird Trick Room team. Too gimmicky for best of three, but good good on Battle Spot. I guess he has to hit his moves for the rest of the game. He has to have something to hit. He has, like, Earthquake or Bulldoze or something. Earthquake, there we go. Yeah. Lost to Pseudo Wudo. Not bad. Uh, well, I played some good games, and I did my best against this team. I mean, I just don't know what to say other than this team would have no shot at a best of three. I think. I think that it would have no shot, but eh, it was a good game. So that's pretty much all I got for you today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the games, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.